Hey family, like this is Tell Me Like It Is with Tasha. Tasha. So recently, I've been having a conversation with a few friends about this concept of finding balance. And usually when we talk about balance, we're usually talking about balance between your home and your work life and all your many responsibilities and what should come first and what should come second, right? But here's my concern because we're also talking about you've got to give 100% and we'll even say you got to give 110%. You know, if you want joy in this life, if you want to be successful, you're giving it everything you got, right? Well, if I'm supposed to give 100% to the work that I do, 100% to my children, and you know my husband is going to get his 100%. Already, it's clear that I will have to clone myself because that right there is about three, four hundred percent, and that's impossible. So maybe, just maybe, it's not about finding balance at all. Wait a minute, hear me, hear me out. See, a lot of things that I've been reading and a lot of my friends have been talking about this concept of harmony. And the goal should be to find harmony. The question is, how do we align the many responsibilities in our lives to work together to achieve a common goal of joy, peace, and success, which equals harmony? See, we are faced with so many challenges, and we're trying to accomplish so many things in our lives. We have just so much to do. And when I think about that, I think about the story in the Bible with Mary and Martha and how Martha was so anxious. And the Bible says she was troubled by so many things uh, regarding a visit from Jesus. But Mary was able to just sit at the feet of Jesus and just learn. And when Martha tried to put all of her anxiety and worry on her sister, Jesus told her, Martha, you are worried about so many things, but only one thing is required. Only one thing is required. See, when we put God first in our lives, that's actually how we achieve harmony, because then he will begin to add order to everything else on the list. He will let you know what needs to get done first. He'll let us know what needs to be second on our list. He actually lets us know who needs more of us this week or who can actually deal with a little less of us this week. He'll help us understand, hey, this is what your priorities need to be this month. And this is what you actually need to plan for this year. So the goal is not balance, but harmony. And we achieve that by putting God first and let, letting everything else fall into place according to his plan. So no, you don't have to clone yourself. Just put God first and let him align your life to achieve the joy, peace, and success that you are after. My name is Tasha, and I'm just telling it like it is.